Hi, I'm Tina Ann Middleton, author of the Forestville series. I'd like to welcome you today to the writing journey, where we inspire and encourage each other in the craft of writing. Today, I'll be sharing with you some of the mistakes that I made as an indie publisher doing my first two books. We'll be right back. I've shared with you a few times some of the highlights of my writing journey and my publishing journey. Today I'm going to share with you some of the mistakes that I made when I wrote and indie published my first two books, Nicky Dog and Love and Grace. Wow, where would I start? Let's start with the formatting. That was, yeah, I did a few things that you're not generally going to see these in a well-formatted book. The big one was I double-spaced. And uh, especially in Nicky Dog, I double-spaced. This is generally not used. I mean, it makes it look more like this is a writing assignment for English than a book to be sold. Page numbering. Oh, my goodness. Especially in Love and Grace, I had the page numbering all out of whack because it looked good to me when I first looked at it but one I didn't check it again and two I didn't ask somebody else to check it like my husband who probably would have caught that so I did things like I put a page number on the four word I just got the page numbers all out of whack if you look at the table of contents you look at the page numbers of those actual items, they don't match. Front and back matter, you know, like you normally see in a book. Uh, for Nicky Dog, I did not do a foreword or even a table of contents. I just jumped right into the story. Neither one of the books has that part at the back, you know, the Dear Reader, where the author has a little chat with the person who's just read that book. Neither one of my uh, early books have that. The books just, they have an amateurish appearance. Because of the formatting, um, I used Word. Now, I think Word has something in there that's formatting for independently publishing books. I didn't use that. Like I said, I did mine like it was an assignment for an English class. And I'm afraid that's what it looks like. I should have put it in InDesign. If I had done that, like we did with the novels, I believe these books would have had a much better appearance on the inside. But I didn't do that. I just jumped right into it. Let me stop here for just a moment and encourage you, if you like what you're seeing on the writing journey, please subscribe to my channel, push the bell, remember to ring that bell, so that you get notifications of future videos. Also, I encourage you to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Goodreads, and my Amazon author page. So I've told you some of the mistakes that I made with writing the books. Oh yeah, I did not use beta readers. I'm going to back up just a little bit here. I didn't use beta readers which probably would have caught some of those mistakes. I don't even think I had my husband read over it. And I probably maybe went over it a couple times, mostly, mostly just reading what I had written to make sure I didn't have any typos. So I wasn't checking anything with the formatting, with the appearance. I just wanted to make sure there were no typos. Okay, maybe there's not any typos. I can say that for it. Not much else, but I can say that for it. So let's look at myself publishing with this first one. And really, I've said indie publishing, but this is more of an example of somebody who threw something together and hurried up and self-published it. Yeah, I'm telling on myself, because I'm hoping that somebody will learn from what I did. I knew nothing about self-publishing. 
I think I had seen on there a couple of times where Amazon would mention it. And, you know, I was like, oh, that's cool. They do self-publishing. But I had never done anything with it. So the whole thing was a learning experience. And sometimes I have a really good memory and sometimes I don't. And I don't think I remembered the things I should have remembered as I, as I did this. First thing, when we did Nikki Dog and then I decided to do Love and Grace, we only offered them as ebooks. We were like, oh, we're just going to do ebooks. Now I'm going to say this Amazon's really good about giving you a step by step instruction. And that was something else that I did wrong because I tried to jump ahead. That will confuse you. It, it confused me. Follow those step-by-step -step instructions. It's a lot of work, but if you go step-by-step -step and don't try to jump ahead or jump around, you just might survive the process. It is a lot of work. As I found out a year later, when I thought, you know, I really want to offer those in print. I thought I could just go in and link them and just say, okay, take this ebook and I'll do it as a print book. No, it does not work that way. I had to do the whole process all over again. Then to make it more interesting, we could not find, I think we used pretty much the same picture for this one, but we couldn't find the picture of Nikki that we had used for the ebook. And I'm not entirely sure that this is the same waterfall picture. I think it is. We had to go hunting for the pictures again to use for the covers. We could not find the fonts and everything that we had used for the ebook. So we had to do something different for the print books. So if you go on Amazon and you look at Nikki Dog and Love and Grace, you look at the ebook cover, you look at the print book cover on each book, they're different. That's because I did them different times, about a year apart. I should have gone ahead and done both of them for both books at the same time, both ebook and print book. As they say, live and learn. Uh, for these, I used Amazon's ISBN. Um, is that it? <laughs> I had to ask my technical guy. Amazon provided the ISBNs on these. So that means that I can only publish these on Amazon. I was cool with that because Amazon was the only one I knew about at the time, and that was really the only one I wanted to publish on. But if you're thinking you're going to want to publish on other platforms, then you need to buy your own ISBN. There is a company that sells these. And like the more you buy, the less it costs for each one. So if you're going to be publishing, say, on Amazon and Kobo and Barnes & Noble and somebody else, buy your own ISBN. Don't, don't get the one from Amazon. Future plans here so that I do live and learn from this error, errors. Okay, I did make a bunch of them. Just remember, I was just learning. I was just getting started. I hope to revise both of the books. I mean, as you can see, these are very slender books. And with them being in double space, if I were to do these properly in single space, they would be even smaller books. So I've been told by family members and friends to expand, especially on Nikki Dog. They'd like to know more about this cute little dog that I felt like writing about. So I hope to make them longer, uh, tell more about Nikki, add some more poems and essays to Love and Grace, and I really hope to make them look more professional, which means 
I will take the manuscript for each book when I feel that I have put everything in it that I want to put in, and I will send it to beta readers so they can read through and catch those errors that I did not catch. I will ask my wonderful husband to put these books in InDesign and make them look as good as he did with the novels. Because if you compare, say, Nicky Dog and Mistaken Target, you can see Mistaken Target looks a lot more professional. If you look inside both books, Mistaken Target looks several hundred percent more professional. It's just because Darren took that manuscript and put it in InDesign. This one came right out of Word. And I didn't even use the thing that Word offers to make your manuscripts look good. Um, I'm not going to do this right away because I really want to finish the Forestville series. Yes, I know some writers write five books at the same time. I'm not one of them. One book at a time. I, I have a couple short stories I'd like to go over, but somehow my brain is like, all I can focus on right now is this book. And when I finish this book, then I'm going to start on this book. So when I finish the Forceville series, which at this point in time, I'm planning to keep it limited to six books. Now, when I started it, it was going to be four books, so I'm going to really try to keep it at six. Then I would like to go back and revisit my first two books and see if I can make them look a lot more professional and a lot more like something that a reader would want to buy. As the name of this channel implies, we're on a journey as we learn the incredible craft of writing. We're going to make mistakes along the way. I mean, if you talk to any writer, any of the best sellers, they could probably tell you stories of mistakes that they've made. I know of one writer, she'll put it up on Facebook. She's the writer's typo of the day. She thinks it's hilarious, and so do the rest of us. We get a kick out of it. So we're going to make mistakes. I make mistakes. I just spent all this time telling you about my first two books and the mistakes I made. But the important thing to remember is that we learn from those mistakes and keep on writing. Have a great week.